Are you thinking about moving to Northeast Tennessee? Today, we're going to show you a town that is not only the birthplace of country music, but also the home of one of the most popular racetracks in the world. So start your engines because we're going to Bristol, baby. Today's video is about Bristol, Tennessee, but it's next to impossible to do this video without mentioning Bristol, Virginia, its sister city. When you're standing on State Street in downtown Bristol, you can have one foot in Tennessee and the other in Virginia. Whether you're living here or just visiting, you're probably going to be crossing that state line sooner or later. Let's start with Bristol's vibrant and colorful downtown. As you walk along State Street, you'll see old storefronts with everything from boutiques, western wear, billiards, record shops, to antique stores. Restaurants like Delta Blues Barbecue, Quaker State and Lube, The Burger Bar, Bloom, The Angry Italian. Downtown Bristol has no shortage of entertainment either. The Paramount Center for the Arts and Old Art Deco Theater offers coming attractions, including the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. Just a few steps away is the Theater Bristol, a community theater showcasing favorites, including A Christmas Carol and Oklahoma. Down the street in the opposite direction is the Cameo Theater, built in 1925, still offering audiences live performances from groups such as the Bellamy Brothers and Foghat. For a good laugh, hit Blue Ridge Comedy Club. Also in the heart of downtown is the Bristol Hotel with 65 guest rooms and guest suites. During your stay at the Bristol Hotel, dine at Vivian's specializing in regional family fair or have cocktails and listen to live music under the stars at the Lumac Rooftop Bar. Bristol's downtown is a unique combination of historical landmarks, one-of-a-kind businesses, and vibrant murals that tell the story of the Twin Cities. As you travel out of the downtown area, you'll find plenty of mom and pop businesses too, big box stores, restaurants, and supermarkets, including the Pinnacle, an open air destination that is packed with shopping, dining, entertainment. When you're finished shopping, hit the Pinnacle 12 Marquee Theaters or just jump trampoline park. Welcome to the Bristol Motor Speedway, the ultimate destination for racing fans. With its steep banks, short track, and impressive size, Bristol is known as the last great coliseum, where drivers push their limits and fans are on the edge of their seats. The Speedway originally opened in 1961 and has a capacity for more than 150,000 spectators, making it one of the largest sporting venues in the world. This bucket list track is one of the most popular on the NASCAR circuit for its excitement, intensity, and high octane action. A place so highly regarded that the great Dale Earnhardt Jr. coined his most famous catchphrase, it's Bristol, baby. Man, this is one of the biggest wins in my career. Why is that? It's Bristol, baby! It's not just about the racing. Besides the two NASCAR races each year, the Speedway can even become a football stadium. In 2016, it hosted the Battle of Bristol game between the University of Tennessee and Virginia Tech, with a record-breaking attendance of over 156,000 college football fanatics. And as those of us who live here know, the Speedway can even transform into a mesmerizing winter wonderland with the Speedway and lights display during the Christmas holiday season. A unique drive through experience that culminates with you actually driving your vehicle on the racetrack. When you think of country music, you may think of Nashville, but Bristol is the birthplace of country music. Back in the summer of 1927, record producer Ralph Peer of the Victor Talking Machine Company made music history in Bristol. Peer conducted recording sessions using the new Western electronic microphone and 19 performers recorded 76 songs. Those sessions are now the famous Bristol Sessions and the big bang of modern country music. Johnny Cash called these sessions the most important event in the history of country music. In 1998, the United States Congress officially designated Bristol, Tennessee, and Virginia as the birthplace of country music. 
Bristol is now the home to the birthplace of Country Music Museum, which tells the story of the 1927 Bristol Sessions and highlights this musical heritage in the Appalachian region and beyond. Every September, the Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion is an annual music festival that takes place in downtown Bristol. This three-day festival features an array of performers in recognition of the 1927 Bristol Sessions, influenced by many genres of music in America. USA Today ranked the Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion number three in the top 10 music festivals to attend in the U.S. If you love the outdoors, Bristol has dozens of parks and trails throughout the area. One of our favorites is Steel Creek Park. Steel Creek is a beautiful park sprawling over 2,200 acres, including a 52-acre lake. Visitors can enjoy a two-mile lakeside hike to the dam leading into Rooster Front Park. There's over 24 miles of trails spanning from end to end of the park. Steel Creek Park also features a nature center with an 8,000 square foot educational facility showcasing the history and beauty of the Southern Appalachians. And it even includes live animals. Plus, there is an 18 hole disc golf course, rental shelters, party lodge, picnic tables, paddle boat rentals, playgrounds, a splash pad, and the Steel Creek Express. The Steel Creek Express is one of the most popular activities at the park. This replica of a real steam engine has over 18,000 riders per year. Stepping on over into Virginia, we have one of the newest world-class entertainment venues, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, which just opened in July of 2022. The $400 million project is expected to create over 2,000 jobs with more than 4 million visitors annually. When fully completed in the summer of 2024, there will be seven restaurants, four bars, and a hotel with over 350 rooms. With entertainment at its core of all the hard rock venues, the complex will host musical acts in a 3,200 seat theater with an expanded outdoor amphitheater space that can accommodate over 20,000 people. Bristol, Tennessee is home to about 30,000 people, which makes it the smallest of the Tri-Cities, with Kingsport and Johnson City both being double the size. But the city is spread out over 30 square miles of total area to provide you with a little bit of elbow room. The Bristol community is known for its warm and friendly atmosphere that embraces the small town charm. Housing options include a mix of historic homes, modern developments, and picturesque neighborhoods. Some of our favorite areas of the city include the neighborhoods and homes near Steel Creek Park. Homes here are all of all ages and designs with some homes selling for $300,000 to well over a million with many properties offering larger lots, mature trees, and privacy. Another area of popular neighborhoods is located on the east side of town, near the King University campus and the Bristol Country Club, including subdivisions such as Candlewick and Terra Hills. Homes in these neighborhoods average 400 to 600,000, built from the early 80s into the 2000s, and can average three to 4,000 square feet of finished space. And with an average commute time of 20 minutes or less, you are never too far from employment or any of the shopping and restaurant experiences the city offers. We sure hope you enjoyed touring Bristol, Tennessee and its sister city, Bristol, Virginia. I'm Stephanie and this is Chad. We specialize in helping people that are moving to Northeast Tennessee. If you have questions about Bristol or any of the other beautiful towns in this area, feel free to call, text, or email us. Our contact information is below. And for more information like this, subscribe and follow our YouTube channel, Living in Johnson City, Tennessee. And remember, it's never too soon to start planning your move. We hope to see you here real soon because Bristol is a good place to live.